If you're a Harrison Mixbus or Mixbus 32C user, you've probably already seen the export analysis window. But what is it and what can it tell us? Well, let's jump over to Mixbus and find out. Okay, so I have a track set up here in Harrison Mixbus, and I'm going to just run through the export process. For the purposes of speed, I've just selected a small loop to export. So I go Session, Export, Export to Audio Files and a window will pop up here, the export dialog. What we want to make sure here is that we've got analyze exported audio selected and I simply click export. Okay, so our track is exported now and as you can see, we have the export analysis dialog and there are red numbers there and red marks, which is not a good thing, particularly in digital audio. So let's have a look at this main waveform section first. As you can see, there are some yellow marks and some marks with a red on the end. These are indicating our peaks and our true peaks. It's really useful that we have them displayed in this window because we could perhaps go back into our track and work on individual sections where we might be getting peaks if we just want to say pull down one or two drum hits. Now I've got a severe problem in this track which we can see from the uh, peak and true peak readouts. We're actually going as high as 6.8 decibels uh, full scale and 6.8 decibel true peak which is essentially where the maximum value of the encoded audio would be if it could be encoded to that value. It can't, so we end up with distortion in our exported track, which is totally unnecessary, not a good thing. It creates frequencies within the actual track which are not harmonically linked to the content, so it just sounds bad. Um, we can rectify this with a really simple procedure. So I'm going to come back out of this, close, and I'm going to go back into my mixer window here, and just apply the limiter on the master bus. And then we're going to export again. Exactly the same section. Okay, so that looks much healthier now, doesn't it? We've got rid of those red numbers, we've got rid of those peaks, and so on. We've got a warning sign that there's a true peak of uh, minus one dB TP which is essentially uh, peaks that are created between samples that interpolated values. Um, that's not really anything to worry about. And it's actually quite a good reading this. Minus one decibel full scale is a good point to aim for. And finally, let's have a look at this box to the top right. It's a little complicated, so I'll just give you a rule of thumb here. The idea is to aim for about minus 12, minus 14 in most circumstances. If your music sounds good at that value, if you need uh, more loudness, uh, then certainly go for that. But what you'll find is playback platforms like uh, YouTube, Spotify, Tidal, etc. do turn down louder tracks so they play back at the same volume, just like a radio station would manually trim those tracks to put uh, their program material out all at the same volume. So minus 14 is a really good point to aim for. So that is the export analysis dialog. It's actually really useful because it lets you check your exported tracks to make sure that they're compliant, make sure there's no nasty peaks in there, and it really gives you a good indicator of where those peaks are coming from so you can work on them uh, effectively and quickly and efficiently. So if you want to know more about the analysis systems in Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C, get yourself over to harrisonconsoles.com, check out the demo, check out the online manual, and I will see you all next time.